Now it's time for a project to do with your children for Christmas. And this is so much fun. I wish that you all could have seen my children's eyes last night whenever we were putting this together, but it's so much fun for them. It is so easy, it's simple, it's inexpensive, and um, they're gonna wanna give one to all of their friends and teachers and family members. So this is a project using peppermints. You can use candy canes, you can use the small starlight peppermints. I actually purchased a huge bag of peppermints, so um, I could just do a bunch of different things with them. So you start off with the peppermints, you decide the dish that you're going to actually put into the oven. This is gonna be put into a 375 degree oven. And um, I will tell you up front, since I've done this a few times, it's better to have something with sides on it because the peppermints are gonna actually melt in the oven. And if it doesn't have sides to it, they kind of, uh, die off and they become very thin and brittle and fragile. And if you have something with sides on it, um, they seem to stay thicker and will last longer. Now, in the end, this is still edible. It can be eaten after it's given, um, which is the great thing about it. And um, just to show you a few of the things that I have made, this one is actually the product that you get after the, it's finished. I took two red candy canes, I lined them up in my baking dish, and filled it in with the other peppermints around. Bake it at 375 degrees for about eight minutes, and this is what you get. Now you use parchment paper on the bottom, no spraying it, nothing, plain parchment paper. I cut the sides of mine so that it falls neatly into the dish and you don't have a bunch of sides that are bubbling up because you really do want it to conform to um, the dish that you put it in. Now, what I plan on doing with mine um, this Christmas is serving this to my neighbors and to friends as a candy dish, as a cookie dish. Um, this is a smaller one that I made with, from a smaller dish and I've just stacked some cookies on it. I'm gonna wrap some um, cellophane around it, put a big pretty bow on it and just hand it out for Christmas. What a great gift. And actually they can eat the dish that it comes in. So I was getting brave towards the end of the night and I decided I wonder how big I can make um, uh, a peppermint plate. Actually I was going for a platter, I didn't make a platter, I made a plate. And um, this is actually what I came up with. So I have a cake stand and here is this big peppermint round piece of candy as you can see. And of course if you drop it, it will break. Um, you can give it to your children to, to gnaw on during Christmas time. Uh, it's so much fun and um, I know that they'll have a great time with it. These are the different colored candy canes that you can use. You don't have to stick with just the red and white. Um, all the different flavors now and all of them uh, have the aroma of those different flavors as well. One more thing that I do want to point out, this is one that I made um, in the end last night. It was getting late and this one is overcooked. So I do want to show you the things that do happen if you do overcook it. I think this one stayed in the oven for about 10 minutes. The sides become dark. So actually when you put it in the oven, you really want to stay on top of it and um, watch it close because it will, it will change colors and it's not as pretty to give. So now I'm going to put one in the oven that I've made and this one actually has a 5 in it for News Channel 5 and I'm gonna stick this in the oven and see what it looks like after this eight minute period. And so here we have our finished product. We have taken this out of the oven. So I'm gonna gently take this out of my Pyrex dish here. It's the parchment paper and I have to be careful as to not drop it. Like I said before, it will break and here we have our number five for News Channel 5. One more thing I wanted to point out, the front of this is a glossy finish and the back of it is a flat finish. So if you don't have a number or a letter on there, actually you can use any side. Um, any side would be fine, but this is actually the finished product. I hope that you and all of your family will enjoy making many things together. Um, use your creativity and uh, make these as large and as small, give them to neighbors and family members, and really try to enjoy each other this holiday season. Thank you all for joining me for this special. Um, you can get more tips at 
KALB.com, or you can go on my Facebook page at Debbie Aaron's Designs. And uh, all of us at Channel 5 wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Your home brought to you by the Garden Path Stone Center, your path to a beautiful home and landscape.